Hi and welcome in this video from Teach Me How to Trade Forex and Binary Option. My name is Damien Levy. Foundation Learning What is the Forex Market? Lesson 2 In this lesson you will learn size of the forex market, global structure of the forex market, spread definition, broker advantages and disadvantages, market maker through ECN, mutual fund little banks. Structure of forex. The forex is 5.3 trillions of dollars traded daily. It's the biggest market in the world and the biggest structures in the stock market. Spread explanation. Quick explanation what is a spread? It is the difference between the price you can buy and the price you can sell at a specific moment in time. Let's see a little more. Let's say the market is currently trading at 1.1500. To access to the market and be able to buy, you go through a broker. So this broker takes his commission in the form of what we call the spread. When you buy, you buy a little more expensive than the original price because of the spread. The difference between the original price 115 and 11501. And when you sell, you will sell a bit cheaper than the original price. The 0.001 difference goes to your broker on each transaction. Also, note that the spread can vary. The blue line is called the ask line, where you will buy. And the red line is called the bid line, where you will sell. Structure of the Forex at the top, we have the national banks. They create a network between themselves. Then you have the Reuters Dealing 300 and the Electronic Broking Service. Those two actors connect buyers and sellers in the market. Then just below, you have the Forex Broker Market Makers and the Forex Broker ECN STP. Broker particularities. First, the market makers. Positive sides. You can trade with very little account from 5 or 10 dollars only. They offer bonuses. Sometimes you can even trade with their money without investing 1 dollar from your own pocket. I'll post a link below the video from the broker XM, a quite reliable broker who proposed this offer. He gives you $30 without any money from you. It can be good to start, but when you will be profitable, there might be better options. Negative sides. If they have a dealing desk, most likely they are taking the other side of your trade. Which means that, aside of putting your orders directly to the market, to an anonymous buyer or seller, which is the fairest way to trade, they are the buyer you sell to and the seller you buy to. Why do they do that? Know that, based on statistics, more than 75% of all the traders' accounts lose their money in less than 3 months. Not because of the broker, but because they don't give themselves a proper education or they treat trading as a gambling game, without proper trading plan. So, knowing that, and being a broker, what would you do to take advantage of it? As you understood, they take the other side of our trade, if they have a dealing desk. It is very profitable for them, doing so, they know that all the money the retail trader lose will finish in their pocket without much effort. But it also creates a conflict of interest and can lead some brokers to unhealthy practices in order to make you more likely to lose your hard-earned money. I'll detail those practices and how to choose a healthy broker in a dedicated video. I'll post the link under this video when it will be done.
So be cautious with them. If your orders are filled correctly, however, it's not a problem to work with them. There is serious market maker out there. Sometimes, the market maker doesn't allow you to trade a very short term. It is something called scalping. This is a trading style. In a way, they don't allow you to profit with this trading style and it's another way to limit your profit. Now let's look at the other side, the ECN broker, Electronic Communication Network. They transmit your orders directly to the network market, usually with them no dealing desk, consequently no conflict of interest. On the other side of your trade is an anonymous trader or institution. They are like the on-exchange broker we talked about in the stock market introduction. Their spread are tighter than the market maker or even around zero pips. The execution of your trade can be faster because there is no dealing desk between you and the market. They usually allow scalping which gives you more opportunities to make money. Globally, the trading conditions are better. Negative side. They take commission and sometimes you pay the commission plus the spread, I would say most of the time. The spread widen also during the day, like every broker's. Except if you sign for a fixed spread account, it exists too. You need a little bit more money to start trading with them, from $100 to $200 on average. They don't offer bonuses. I will place a link below this video of the best true ECN broker I have found so far after testing a lot. I will also make a video explaining why I choose them to trade. Now let's look at both brokers' other positive sides. They both propose leverage. In Quick, they permit you to trade with more money than what you have in your account. It is a double-edged sword if not used properly. I'll make a little lesson dedicated to this specific topic so you can learn a bit more how it works. They also both offer a demonstration account. This is a very good tool. It is a trading account funded with, for example, $10,000 and it is not real money but you trade it in the real market condition. It will not take in account the spread and commission but that's the best way to start trading without risking any money until you start to be profitable in this demonstration account. A rule of thumb is to multiply by 6 your demo account before you risk any real money. And I would say using only 2% per trade. Now let's come back at our structure. So we have all those actors first and now we will look at the mutual fund and little banks. So. They are very easy to access. You basically ask your bank to trade for you or your company. Most of the time, if you are in a big corporation, they have a mutual fund antenna that will manage your fund and makes you make profit. The negative side is the profit is very low, 5 to 15% per year. Compared to what you could make by learning how to trade yourself, it's a bit low. Now, below those three last elements, brokers and mutual funds, there is you and me, retail investors. We can invest with mutual funds and little banks, giving them the control of our money. They will make the choice of trading your money, investing in specific assets. Or we can invest ourselves, trading for ourselves, with the brokers mentioned just before. We have also other options and I will detail you all in the next video. To summarize, the foreign exchange is the biggest market in the world with more than $5 trillion traded daily. This liquidity permits us to trade with good conditions in terms of fulfilling our orders. The spread is the commission taken by all brokers and is the number of pips, points, added to the price they buy really in the interbank network market. The forex structure is consequently bigger too, with more actors inside it. At the top of the structure is the interbank network, which is basically the network marketplace where we trade. Below are two actors that make match buyers and sellers, the EBS and the Rutter Dealing 300. 
Below those two are the two types of brokers, the market makers and the ECN brokers. Market makers are easier to access with little starting amount, but there is good chances that they will take the other side of your trade. The ECN, when they are true ECN, are safer for your money, but you need more money to start trading with them, $100, $200. Both of those brokers propose you a demonstration account where you can trade with fake money in real market condition. You can use this demonstration account to become a good trader and when you are profitable and multiply your account by 6 minimum, you go live. They also both use leverage, providing you more money than what you have in your account to be able to trade bigger load size. Along with them are the mutual funds and little banks. Easy to access via your bank or your company. Low annual return, 5 to 15% per year. Finally, at the bottom of the pyramid, there is us, retail traders. We can choose to go through the forex market by our bank, mutual funds letting them handle our money, or via a broker and trade on our own. We are already at the end of this video. Thank you for watching. Please like and share and join us on Facebook. The link are below the video. Comment if you want me to do a video on a specific topic about trading. I publish video every week, so subscribe to my channel to be updated. I wish you all the best. Bye.